Hello, hello, my gamers. Um, we're in week six of the UTDI, and uh, Arts give us a forfeit win for week five, so that's why the upload is very, very late. Uh, yeah, we're facing off against Big Time Brownie and his uh, Green Bay Yampers. Um, his team is really fucking scary, I'm not gonna lie. Like, there's a Zerora, a Mew, Basculin, Obstagoon, Sock, Decidueye, Corviknight, Gmax, Center Scorch, Swampert, Whirlipede, Dragalge, and Aromatisse. And uh, what we're bringing is, uh, of course, our Gmax Electricity, Melmetal with leftovers, Choice Bandits, Aptos, because his only flying switch in is uh, Corviknight. Uh, heavy Duty Boots, Cinderace, Heavy Duty Boots, Colossal, and uh, Leftovers, Sylveon. We have Acid Armor, Body Press on Melmetal, so... Nice scary setup thread there. And honestly, I'm on fucking pain medication, I'm ill, this is gonna be uh, a crazy battle. And an important battle as well, because uh, we're both 4 and 1. We're 2nd and 3rd in the ranking, and this could have uh, some implications on who makes playoffs and who doesn't. Because only top 4 make playoffs. So, let's try to shoot for a win here. And, uh, yeah. No clue who I'm leading with. We'll just depend on what he has, obviously. We have Colossal for that Senti Scorch. It smokes us with a Skull, unfortunately. Okay, so we see Mew. Corviknight, Aromatis, which I presume, hold on, which I presume was there for the, uh, for the Hydreigon, you see, Senti Scorch, and I have to get used to my new keyboard as well, it's, 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 it's all fucking, it's going downhill boys, and girls, I don't know. Okay, we see Zeraora, we see Mew, obviously. I think I just lead Ribonella, because either way I can just baton pass. And uh, let's see where we go from there. And again, that, on that the only flying switch in is that uh, Corviknight, and we have Two things, three things that hit Corviknight for super effective damage. As soon as that thing is low enough, Zappy can just come in and claims to kill every time. Thunderous Kick may also be useful early game to break something. Yeah, let's see. Madonna. Okay. That is Swampert. We're super swampered weak this week. Um, we basically have nothing for Swampert, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. So I think I'm just gonna hyper voice here. I wanna hit this thing. I have nothing for this. And I need it to be at least at 50% if Dr. City wants to one shot it. There's a toxic. We dodged the toxic, which is unfortunate for him. We see lefties on Swampert. Uh, turn 1 Toxic Dodge is unlucky for him. Then again, I think he's just gonna, t he's just gonna Toxic again here. I guess... Oh, sets up the rocks, okay. So we see it, so we see a typical Swampert here. And uh, at this point, Toxicity may be able to one-shot it. Um, I'm just gonna hyper voice again, though. I need to be sure. I need to be sure. I I think Flip turns coming out here. No, just Toxic again, and this time he lands it. Great. This thing consistently outspeeds us, which is good, because we this means we get slow pivot now. Um 
Yeah, I just baton pass here every time. Baton pass is the button to click. As he flip turns, probably. Yep. We should take this just fine. That's a crit, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, so we get a crit for a miss. We almost know the complete set. I'm guessing Earthquake is his last move. I'm already gonna put it there because obviously Earthquake is his last move. Uh, for that Toxtricity. Speaking of Toxtricity, I may just go out into it immediately. Or I got into Lung Cancer to Rapid Spin. That's also a play. Like, Aromatis does nothing to anything. I don't know why he brought it in, per se. Metal Metal can also just Acid Armor here. I think so, yeah. I think Metal Metal can just Acid Armor. So clearly he did not see the... Uh, the, the thing coming, the Baton Pass. I just realized I have an even number of HP. I'm a terrible Pokemon player. Um, yeah, Acid Armor is, is always free here. I don't think he sacks Aromatis here. Like, I'm guessing this is... Okay. Great, free Acid Armor. Free Acid Armor here, which is amazing. So this is just Wish Protect uh, Moonblast Teal Bell, I guess? Metal Metal is at plus two. Already. Which means many things. Mainly that many things are not an issue anymore. But I'm just gonna bash here. There's no Protect. Yeah, uh, let's see what comes out here. Ran. Ran the scent to Scorch. Man, I could have nailed this thing with a rock with a rock type move. That's a lot of damage. Then again, scent to Scorch uh, fist death is kind of ass. So let's see here. Oh yeah, Jesus Christ! We one shot you with a rock slide. Even through Max, now. And the Max Slayer should do nothing. Max is straight away, okay. Let's see. Let's see if you're physical or special. I... Would you be special? Could be, actually. And a flamethrower... G-Max flamethrower would probably kill, right? Would it? Centiferno. Oh, we live. So it was special. Please don't miss this. I swear to God. Thank you. You're dead. Great. Okay. 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 So that's amazing. That is amazing. Metal Metal is going to die here, unfortunately, but we got rid of the Dynamax immediately. We got rid of the Dyma Dynamax immediately. Uh, this gives Center Scorch a lot more freedom. Uh, Center Scorch. This gives, uh, what's it called? Come on, Matt, talk to me. Colossal. This gives Colossal a lot more freedom. Because uh, the main thing it was supposed to check is gone. Unfort definitely unfortunate that he was special, because uh, that definitely messed Metal Metal up a bit. If he wasn't special there, then uh, that was just game, I think. Um, 
do I save Melon is the question. I don't think so. I don't think I can wish it in on anything. Um, I'm just gonna body press. Earthquake is coming out here, most likely. Yep, and that's a dead mill metal. And, uh... Do I go beep beep here? Nah, I think Alice Cooper is fine. Boomburst is free. Boomburst is super free. I don't even need to uh, to max yet. Boomburst is just super super free, and it always kills. Even if you're max max calm, we do over fifty percent. And uh, you can't be a salt fest because, uh, of course, you've showed us both stealth rock and toxic. Getting rid of this would be great. Don't know if we can just yet, though, because he's probably gonna switch. I mean, Corv would be a very brave switching because I just overdrive you straight after. I just realized I didn't bring Palisand for Zerora, which is uh, questionable to say the least, but, you know. Uh, we'll work it out somehow. Withdraws Madonna. Goes into Alberta... this thing. Do you live to? You categorically do not. Great. Um, we see leftovers on you as well. Uh, I just boom burst again. No reason not to, really. Okay, so that should be a dead aromatis. It lives barely, are you kidding me? And wishes. That is really fucking annoying. That is really, really annoying. Because this means I am forced into a Dynamax here. I'm gonna max max ooze, but that's really annoying. I don't want this thing getting off a wish. Wow! What a play. What a play. What a play, bro. Oh my god. That is such a good play. Um... That is a phenomenal play. That is just a phenomenal play. Because, uh, this lives a strike now. This just lives a max strike now and I wasted my max. I've just wasted my Dynamax here because of that play. That was a sick play. Can't even complain about that one. That was an amazing play. I didn't think he would just risk sacking aromatis. We might not even live to earthquakes. Is that a crit again? Oh my days. Alright then. This game just took a turn for the worse. Um... The winner's gonna live this, but at what cost, really? I can get a last ditch wish off. Won't matter though. Um... Yeah, no, I think it will matter actually. Never mind. He outspeeds me. I forgot about that. Um, 
That's really fucking annoying. <laughs> now I have to go out into Zapdos. The close combat does take you out. The thing is, I could also just U-turn. I could just U-turn. Because I don't think you stay in. You need this for Tox. I'm gonna U-turn. I think Mew is coming out here. Withdraws. Sends out Poe, that is you. Uh, just for few, just for the future, let me calc this real quick. For the night. How much do two, th two thunderous kicks take you out? Two close combats also do. That is good to know. That is very good to know. Great. Uh, I think here I just got into lung cancer and rapid spin. I've got uh, no reason to do anything else. I'm Boots. He doesn't want to stay in on this. He doesn't know I don't have a fire move, but I'm just going to Rapid Spin anyway. He didn't see if this was Rocky Helmet. We'll see in the, uh, in the Mon Select screen, though. That crit on Sylveon, really unfortunate. Madonna comes out. We rapid spin away. And I think I go hard zappy here. I think I go hard zappy here because... Uh... Yeah, this is Rocky Helmet. So we either see an earthquake... Or he, we might see a flip turn here, actually. In that case, Zappy was a dumb play, but I have to make a play anyway. I have to capitalize on something here. We see the Earthquake. Great. Okay, so that worked out. Those combat still KOs you. So I'm just gonna... Click it now. You might want to read this. I'm just gonna click it. Corviknight doesn't take two. Oh, comes out. Corviknight should never take two of these. And yes, we're taking some rocket helmet chip. Holy shit, that's a lot of damage. That's a crit. Doesn't matter. The next one always kills. So, yeah, we see the rocket helmet. Don't know why I'm typing this down. You're dead this turn anyway, so... I can't remember what KO'd the Melmetal, but uh, we'll see. I guess. <laughs> and now Zera comes out, right? And against Terra, we're just screwed. Did I understand that right? That's her aura. We lost two of our physical walls already. We only have lung cancer left. And I don't know if it wants to take anything. I mean, it is fully fizz death. We even take two close combats. I did not expect that. I'm just gonna go into it. Zapdos is way too important. Out comes the close combat. We take two as predicted. And that minus is death. 
Stone Edge does... Uh, I'm gonna Willow Wisp here. I don't know why I'm even considering this. I'm gonna Willow. With draws Kakashi. Let's see what he comes, uh, goes out into. Goes out into the Pert. If we land this Willow Wisp, that would be great. Okay. We do land the Willow. Uh, we cancel out the lefties. And unfortunately, I think this game is lost. But, uh, I mean, I'm gonna try to win anyway. But I think this, this game is, uh, is done and dusted. I don't think we can physically win this. Um... Colossal actually takes an Earthquake. That doesn't do us any good, but it does take an Earthquake. Um, how about Cinderace? Cinderace does nothing in return, though, does it? And I don't really want to... Okay, no. Here's what we do. Hold on. Here's what we do. We set up Stealth Rocks. We set up the Rocks. Because I don't think... Okay, flip turn comes out. Good that we stayed in, because otherwise we would have been uh, screwed. We still have Tox in the back. Tox should be able to... Uh... Tox should be able to take one hit from Zera. The problem is that this wishes now for free. And uh, wish is really something I did not want to see. Um... Actually, yeah, no, I'm gonna Stone Edge here. Try to kill this. We do land the Stone Edge and Alberta is dead. That is amazing. I mean,. Would make a difference? I don't think so, but... Uh, so Aromatis dies. That's a Mew right there. Um, are you Dragon Dance, sir? You might be. I'm gonna willow you just in case you are Dragon Dance. If you're special, then it's just GG, I think. But it is Dragon Dance, and it's probably gonna be uh, Lumberry now that I think about it. That was stupid of me. I just ran into that Lum. Because this is obviously Lumberry. Yeah. And this is just gonna beat us down now, I think. There is no way anything takes anything from this, so... Uh, I think this is just game. I think uh, Dragon lets me was gonna end our unbeaten run here, but um, who knows? Maybe he doesn't kill for some ungodly reason. Could have stone edged. Could have stone edged and maybe hope that Cinderace, hope that Cinderace gets the kill. Oh, it is close combat as well. Okay. <laughs> okay, wait. you're at minus one, then, because I, uh, I mean, I have no choice, really. I have to go into this and hope. Minus one defense, a pyro ball has a good shot to kill you. 
and you really don't... You shouldn't be able to kill us in one hit. At least. So I think we may still have a chance here. I mean, Mew gets Earthquake, right? And Earthquake should kill. Yes. Send Headbutt. This, should, this shouldn't KO us, right? No, Arnautovic. He misses. Of course he does. It's Marco fucking Arnautovic. Of course he's gonna miss when it matters most. Jesus Christ, man. That's, re nah, that's game now. Now we have no chance. That's really annoying. That's really annoying. Um, yeah, Mew just sweeps the rest here. That is really annoying. That Pyroball killed. That Pyroball had a good, good shot to kill. That Pyroball had a really good shot to kill. But that's Pokemon. That is Pokemon. And I think... Actually, I don't know. I... I'm not sure if Zerora would have had that. Uh, I'm not sure if Zerora would have had that. Without a boost, I think Tox lived it once. But hey, that's Pokemon. I'm just gonna Boom Burst here and uh, hope for the best. But the Zen Headbutt, if it doesn't miss, it's just gonna KO. And he lands all three of them. Uh, so yeah, that's game. We lose the big damn round in 3-0. It's not all that bad. We're still 4-2. We still have good chances. We just have to win the rest, basically. And, uh, yeah. I am sick. I am ill. I am tired, so I'm gonna go to bed. See you guys next time. And uh, next week, I think we play Wolf. Not sure, but yeah. Have a good one, guys. Until next time, bye.